Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be doing my review slash breakdown for the latest episode that aired last night. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future DCTV videos. So, this episode was pretty good. I thought it was fairly consistent throughout. I was engaged. And although it wasn't the craziest episode, and I know that some people were disappointed by the episode, I felt like it all kind of made sense and it all led to big reveals and there was, you know, different character points. It was more so about Frost and Caitlyn and their mum returning and it was about that connection. Then also at the same time you had Tinya with Iris in Coast City, which was obviously very, very important as well because that's going to be leading into more of what we're going to be getting with Tinya and to potentially her links to the Legion of Superheroes and becoming a superhero essentially because we even saw in this episode like an instance of her powers. She got angry and she hit like a stapler and her hand went through it because she is Phantom Girl in the comics and we saw her being able to phase through buildings and phase through walls last episode too. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video and I apologize that it's coming up later than usual. I've just had a very, very busy week and it's gonna get back to normal next week, so don't worry about that, guys. But we got plenty more videos to make. Go ahead and read the first issue of Earth Prime, the new crossover event in the Arrowverse. They just released issue one and it's out and they reveal who's the big villain and it's supposed to be set in the canon of the Arrowverse so that is going to be one of my next big videos and there's also been a couple of different news pieces that have come out those videos have come out over the next couple of days I apologize for the lack of uploads in like the last three four days but they are coming back so don't worry I have plenty of ideas about what to do videos obviously the flash is getting crazy right now so let's go ahead and jump into this so at the start of the episode, Iris calls Barry, and Barry shows up in Coast City after this meeting that she briefly has with Dion. Obviously, that was at the end of last episode, and we continue straight on from there. Basically, things are much worse for Iris, and Dion has to use his treatment differently, and obviously, more intensively, as we see in this episode, like, Iris has a couple of breakouts with her, you know, time sickness and her eyes going crazy and you know everything disappearing like at one point in the episode there is an office and the whole office is cleared like it goes completely just without Iris even intentionally doing anything or touching anything it just goes and so same later in the episode but we'll get to that when we get to that okay so let's move on from there so that's just our opening scene then we have Frost versus Black Flame pretty soon afterwards as basically they come up with a crazy plan to bait Frost and to build a trap in order to trap the Black Flame. However, as you know, it does fail. And this is where we get the return of Caitlyn's mum, Carla. And so it's nice to have her back. I believe it's been a couple of seasons since we last saw her. And we did get a teaser about her having powers. And so they're finally getting back to that, which is obviously very good and nice to see. And so it was very nice that kind of relationship that we actually had some time to explore it because I've been feeling like Frost and Caitlyn recently have been like nowhere near as good as they've been in the past only because they're splitting the time between the two of them. Like they have to pick and choose every episode. Oh, how much time do we want Danielle in this sort of look? How much time do we want her and Caitlyn? And recently they've been kind of focusing a bit more on Frost because of what's been going on with Frost. However, in this episode, we got a really nice balance and we got a proper bit where we got into their relationship and it was great, I think, that they brought the mum into it because that really solidified everything that they were talking about and the fact that they, you know, finally agree on something even though they do butt heads in this episode. But by the end of the episode, they actually make up. But let's go back to Iris. So she sticks around in the city and obviously she's not coming back for a while. And that means we're going to get more Tinya, and so she goes looking for Tinya's mum, and that happens shortly afterwards, where they basically go to the adoption agency that Tinya's mum originally went to. And basically, the woman at the desk is like, no, we can't give you these details, there's like some sort of order, and then it turns out that, you know, they have that connection, and then 
we get the call in and basically everything is sorted out because Sue has all of those connections. Literally, she calls the head of the board of governors like her uncle. So it seems she is rich and she knows everyone now. And I feel like Sue is a fun character because she's always kind of bright and happy, even though, you know, there is some darker moments. But she kind of gives that kind of light in the darkness, I guess, especially in these scenes because it's very comical and it's funny. Like, she's always, like, staring and, like, you know, doing these, like, kind of crazy eyes. And it's very funny and, you know, she's making jokes because she's rich, basically. And I enjoy these rich jokes, so they're pretty funny, to be honest. But let's move on. We have Joe versus Barry, basically, as Barry reveals to Joe that he is annoyed, basically, at himself, but at Frost for risking herself with the black flame coming towards her. But it's at this point that Joe mentions the parallels that Iris and Barry are going through right now. Basically, that Barry is worried about Iris and how, basically, these two situations are kind of meshed together in his mind right now and he needs to find the trust that he has in Frost and actually trust her to make that decision because he's trained her, he's done everything that he can and at the end of the day it is her choice to do this and so they do get to work and they try it again but this time with the help of Carla who actually straps up as well because she has this latent kind of Frost powers of inside of her and that's where we kind of lead to what happens next and so with Carla being a meta and her meta gene being activated they draw in black flame and black flame shows up we get to see they have a face for the first time we haven't seen a face before obviously we've seen them manifest one time however we do finally get some sort of ghost like face and this face basically intimidates as they try and stop black flame for good by using the machine but everything goes wrong and they're back to square one as black flame escapes again but that's fine in their opinions because they got to save Carla. And so I get what people were saying that it's a little bit pointless that they go through all of these traps and they just essentially give up every single time. Obviously before it was because Frost got injured, but now it's different circumstances because Carla is there as well. And I understand that, you know, they were super powerful and they could have stopped them and they make it explicitly clear that they could have. However, they made that choice, Frost made that choice to save Carla, and I think that's what's bonded them together by the end of the episode, because as we head towards the end, we have Caitlyn, Carla, and Frost talking in Caitlyn's apartment, and it seems like everyone is on the same page, everyone is feeling good, and there is sort of no bad energy between them anymore, because before it was all relatively tense. And so, with everything back to square one, Team Flash are going to have to think about how to stop Black Flame. And when we're, like, questioning this, something crazy happens. And we'll get to the Iris stuff in just a second of what happens at the end of the episode. But in regards to Caitlyn and Black Flame, the ending scene is curious. So, we cut to the ending, it's the post-credits, and what happens is, the lights flicker in Caitlyn's apartment, we're like, Okay, maybe it's Frost or something. Obviously, we know because it's quite ominous that it's probably Black Flame. But she's like, oh, Caitlyn, stop playing jokes, you know, something like that. And then, out of nowhere, Black Flame shows up, nearly attacks Caitlyn, or it looks like she was very close to being attacked. However, they stop, and there is an actual voice. This voice comes out of the creature, or the flame, I guess you could call it, and... Caitlyn recognizes it, and that's when we get the flashback to Ronnie in the past saying the exact same words, confirming that Black Flame is Ronnie Raymond, or at least a version of Ronnie Raymond, and it could be an iteration of our character that we knew in the past because he remembered and said those exact same lines in season one, and that's what we got the flashback to, and so. Is he Deathstorm? Is he Black Flame? What are we going to actually talk about him as? Well, it's just very interesting that they actually went with this. I'm very happy that they went with this because we've been suspecting it for a long time because we knew, you know, oh, the fire methods, who do we have? And we know that Ronnie's returning, so it does make sense. And in the comics, Firestorm does turn into Deathstorm. And I think this is just an iteration of Deathstorm. Like, he's a literal 
storm of fire every time he shows up and it's death so that's kind of blackness and you know black flame so it does make sense really when you look at it like that but let's move over to Iris before we head towards the end of this video because Iris takes Tinya to her mum they actually get to meet face to face for the first time and she gets an explanation about what happened to her as a child and how basically the mum knows that she's wrong and she's hoped every day that you know she lived a good life and you know that her life is good but as soon as things get kind of good and although Tinya starts questioning her mum her mum comes over as Iris freaks out and her eyes glow green and basically being in such close proximity the mum is vaporized into nothing like vaporized into this kind of glowing material and it fades off and we're like where the hell is she is she dead right now what is going on here I don't know the exact answer but with Iris vaporizing Tinya's mum you know Tinya's gonna stick around to try and figure it out and obviously that's gonna cause a kind of friction as you saw in the end scene between those two characters because previously they've been on good terms in the last episode and most of this episode too because Iris has been helping her but now she just got rid of the mum that she just met like I can't imagine that that is crazy and I have no idea what exactly is going on with Iris's time sickness but it's clear it's completely out of control and Dion's gonna have to come back and try and control it some more but that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later in the year and also turn on notifications to not miss any videos especially over the next few days because we have lots planned but for now, thank you guys so much for watching. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.